Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put in uh, your Sunday set uh, in session view in Ableton Live. So I just did a video on arrangement view and how to put in uh, four songs for a Sunday set. And I'm going to do the same four songs, but in session view. We're going to start the clock and show you exactly how to do this. So first, let's I'm going to navigate over here to my folder and I'm going to open up my Ableton worship templates. And this time I'm going to open up the session worship template. All right. So here we are, my session worship template. I'm going to start the clock and we're going to we're going to go ahead and start. All right. So my set list is going to be the exact same. I'm going to do breakthrough, can't stop singing, hallelujah for the cross and holy ground. And I'm going to show you how we how we do this. So I'm going to start here, hit command I to create some more scenes. And so I'm going to create a whole bunch because we're going to need a lot for this. All right, that should be enough for now. All right, so let's start with breakthrough. So I have a session uh, track session track folder and that'll have uh, the songs in there. So we'll start there. Just drag and drop. So this is how it comes in. I have this control folder that has click guide, repeat guide, next and repeat. And then I have all of my tracks, audio tracks here. Okay, so I'm gonna double click on my MIDI guide and then I'm gonna rename. I have this plugin, it's called Modular Series LE Clips to Scene. And so that allows me to move what I've written here over to here. Okay, so I'm just gonna make those blue. And I like to leave a couple spaces between my next song. And then the last thing I do is take this folder and move it over to this other control folder. It's the exact same thing, but I'm gonna move it over here so I can delete this one. And I'll tell you why I do that at the end of the video here. All right. So let's do can't stop singing. Make sure I go down here. Okay. Again, we're just dragging and dropping. Double click on my MIDI guide and then rename everything. I'll go ahead and close that. And then we'll just change the color on this one. Okay, and I'm gonna move this over. All right, and once that's done, I can delete that. And I'm ready for my next song. I'll go ahead. And I'm hitting, I'm just hitting command R to rename these so I can delete the numbers out of there and I'll start my next track right here. And what's my next one? Halu for the cross. All right. We want the one in the key of D. So let's take that one and same process. I'm just going to rename it, change the color to match. Uh, the color that that it pulled over in and then move over this section here and I'm going to close this to get to it now and then my last song is Holy Ground
Okay, so my very last one, same process. You just move it over, drag and drop, and then delete that. And my set list is complete. So we're at four minutes and 32 seconds. So you can see why I would use this, uh, this view to put in all my songs for Sunday. I've got four tracks here. Breakthrough, Can't Stop Singing, Hallelujah for the Cross, and Holy Ground. And um, I put them in in less than five minutes. So this takes off a lot of time um, <clears throat> when you're putting your set list together. And I'll just delete the rest of those. And now I'm finished. So my set list is complete. I'm going to take you through and show you a couple things on here and a few re other reasons why I love to use Session View uh, for worship. Okay, so let's start here at the top, and I'm going to open the tracks up. I have all my tracks available. I'm going to turn some of these on because uh, I, I save them with the only with the tracks that I need for a service. So I usually take out, you know, piano, drums, bass, and electric guitars. And then, um, so there's, uh, we'll start here, and you can watch this section. So in arrangement view, you watch from left to right, but in session view, uh, you, you're going from top to bottom here. So from from the top, breakthrough, all, and here's the whole song. So when I start this, Intro, two, three, four. as it moves, it'll move through the song, and I can see where I'm at in the song. So you can see it, it's going to follow all the way down from top to bottom. So throughout the whole song, I'll know exactly what part of the song we're in so I can lead the band <clears throat> and just so I can know myself where we're going next. OK, and just like in arrangement view, I can repeat any section. OK, uh, so if I'm on this verse here, I'm going from the verse to this interlude, but I want to do the verse again. All I'm going to do is hit the R on my key keypad. And you'll see this repeat track turned on. <clears throat> and my guide is going to say verse again. Okay, so this is my repeat guide or also called the dynamic guide that I used in uh, arrangement view. So you can see that turns that track on. I turn it off now. Now we're going to move to the interlude. So you can see that guide right there. That guide will say whatever happened right before. OK, so if I'm, if I'm on the verse and I hit the R, then my guide is going to say verse because I'm repeating. And then if not, it's going to say interlude. So that's just like the one in arrangement view. Now, the difference in session view, which is one thing I love about session view, is if I'm in a section. OK, and let's just go down here to uh, the vamp. OK, so I'll say I'm in the vamp. But my worship leader says, hey, let's cut the music. So I know this vamp cut right here. So I'm going to go to the, the line right above it. And now it's going to go straight to this vamp cut music. So now I've jumped sections and I don't have to wait to the end of the, the phrase to click on this uh, plus button. So I'm going to go up to the solo here, bridge solo. OK, so anywhere in this. Uh, in this song, I can jump just by clicking whatever is above it. So I'm going to go this interlude. So I click the line above it. And then when it gets through this section, this is 16 bars. After that 16 bars, it's going to go there. And I don't have to do it. I just got to click it once and keep playing the piano. Or whatever you might be playing. <clears throat> See? Now, the only downside is the guide is not going to say the correct uh where you're going. It's not going to say the correct thing. It's going to say whatever it's supposed to say, whatever it's, you know, if it's if it's going from vamp to vamp, it's going to say vamp. If you go up here, choose to go to interlude, you'll just have to tell the band, hey, it's going to say vamp, but we're going to the interlude. But but it is it does make it very easy to jump around. So it, this works in in every song. So every song that we do, two, three, one, two, three, it's going to go right down the line. OK, so one more cool thing I want to show you um, that I really love about this. Uh, in session view, let's let's do this Hallelujah for the cross. Okay, so we start this. Go to this first intro. One, two, 
I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna turn the drums on. Okay, so we're in this first intro, and it's just, you know, guitar <clears throat> starting this intro, and then the drums come in. Well, let's say in worship, you're like, man, you know, I, I want to I wanna get to that quicker. I don't want to do eight bars of this. I want to just do four bars. Well, I can just delete this intro right here, and now I just have this intro. One, two, one, two. Now I'm going to go straight to drums in. I cannot tell you how useful this tool is. Uh, there's many times I'm in a worship set and I'm like, you know what? Um, that just took a little bit too long. Let's let's get there a little faster. So let me delete a section out or delete an interlude. And so when you have it in here like this, it's very easy to kind of manipulate the track. The same thing is if you want to add something. So say like this bridge here, I want to add another. I have two bridges here and they're both eight bars a piece. OK. <clears throat> So let's say I want it. Okay, let's let's do this bridge solo. Let's do this unison, and I want to do one more bridge in parts. So I'm just going to take the bridge and hold Option, and then drag down, and now I have a third bridge. So now I can do a bridge solo, a bridge unison, and then a bridge in parts. And if you watch it, it's just going to go straight down the line here, just like it did earlier. And I know the guide is going to be also be correct because I took from the bridge that says the next one was going to be bridge. So that make, makes it really easy. <clears throat> so now I have three bridges. And so this comes in handy when you know for sure, hey, you know, I, I know for sure I'm going to do an extra bridge. Now, you can also just hit the R and repeat the bridge uh, if you want. That's you know, you can do that as well. That's easy as well. But this just gives you some options if you don't want to have to like do that live. And if you know ahead of time, hey, why not just add, you know, a bridge uh, this holy ground? You know, I oftentimes will do this this bridge maybe twice. And so I can just hold option and just drag and drop. And now I have two bridges in parts at the end. And again, you can always just hold R and uh, and use that as well. But those are some really great things uh, you can use in Session View. And it's one reason I love to use Session View during my Sunday sets. Now, the last thing that I really enjoy is I have set up three click tracks here. Um, and these are just clicks and loops. And so I have Alter. So when I know like I'm coming up for Alter and I'm like, oh, OK, guys, I want to do this song for Alter. And I can just quickly open up my loops folder here. OK, and I have a count in. I've got a click and then I have a just a, a worship loop here and that may or may not work, but I just leave it in there just in case. But if nothing else, I can just get a click track. So let's say I wanted to do. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's uh, let's do what a beautiful name for altar. So I'm just going to uh, and actually I could just leave it the same. Uh, Actually, I believe what a beautiful name is 68 BPM. So I'll usually just come in and change the the tempo here and then I'll start it. One, two, now everybody's on cue for what a beautiful name. Three, four, <clears throat> now, many times in, when you're doing alter, you don't want the, the loop to start right in. So you could just drag the loop down and just start to click. And then as the song progresses, you can just start dragging the loop up. Or you can go without a loop. It's just completely up to you. You can delete the loop and just have a click track. And oftentimes I'll just have a click track so that my band can stay locked in. So I have that. And then I have a six, eight click as well, just in case we do a song that's in six, eight. So I'll have that ready. And then I also have a shout loop here. In case okay, so we're ready to shout, you know, because we're, we're going to go up at the end of service and end on a, uh, a real high note. So we, we want to go out with a shout. Then I have that as well. So I have those three and those can be easily manipulated uh, to, you know, to even even songs or whatever. So if you need, you know, like a, a shout song or whatever, you can do that. Or if I just like if there's a song we're going to do, I can easily delete the loop and add another loops for my loops folder here. So I have tons of loops that I can use and I can just drag and drop quickly at altar call. OK, 
So that's one another reason I really love using Session View. Session View is so powerful and so quick. I put all my uh, my tracks in four different tracks for Sunday service in under five minutes. Now in Arrangement View, it took me about 15 minutes or so, a little less than 15 minutes. And like I said, I could do that in about 12 minutes, but still, I mean, this is like super easy and it's super versatile. So you can do so much in here. Now, um, <clears throat> I bought this template from multitracks.com and this is called Advanced Ableton Template and I made some modifications to it. But if you guys would like to see uh, a video on how this works and, and uh, I can break it down exactly how I set this up, modified it, I could do that for you. Just leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about Session View or if you love to use Arrangement View or if you prefer Session View. Let me know in the comments below what you guys prefer and if you'd like to see more videos like this. I uh, appreciate it. Drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my latest videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.